Hey everyone, Stocky Boy here, and today I want to talk about the newly released Evil Dead game, and how it stacks up to the king of asymmetrical horror games, Dead by Daylight. And right off the bat, I just want to say Evil Dead was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a fun game for a while, but I just can't get enough of this game. I've been playing it a ton on stream, <laughs> twitch.tv slash one underscore stocky underscore boy. <laughs> And every day I enjoy the game more and more. It's not just a game for the fans, this is a very solid game all around. If you are a fan of the franchise like myself, it only enhances the experience. It's clear that these people not only have a love for the franchise, but they've also been paying close attention to what people don't like about Dead by Daylight. Nearly every decision behind Evil Dead the game seems to address issues people have with Dead by Daylight. For example, Killers hate when survivors rush the objective. If survivors rush the objective in this game, for one, they have a higher chance of being discovered by the demon, meaning the demon will level up extremely quickly while the survivors get nothing out of it. But it also means when survivors show up to the objectives and need to defend themselves against the demon, they will be hilariously unprepared. Speaking of that, Evil Dead has objectives, as in plural and all encourage constant interaction, which is another thing people don't like about Dead by Daylight. People dislike the lack of interaction in DVD. The killer typically can only be chasing one survivor at a time. Meanwhile, in Evil Dead, everyone gets to interact with the killer and feel like they are all fighting for the same goal. If one survivor in Evil Dead wins, they all win. While in Dead by Daylight, if the Claudette sat around doing nothing, letting her teammates do all the work, just waltzes out the gate, while the rest of the team dies to know it, that called out wins. A very easy way of simplifying this is with an example. This is what doing the objective in Dead by Daylight looks like. While in Evil Dead, doing the objective is giving the Doom Slayer a run for his money. The same goes for Killer as well. In Dead by Daylight, there's quite a bit of holding forward as the Killer, looking for survivors. As a demon, you have a ton of different objectives to go to that aren't the survivors, making it feel as if you are constantly doing something worthwhile. This isn't to say this makes Dead by Daylight bad, I wouldn't say that at all. These are two very different experiences. Some might enjoy the more calming experience of staying on a gen versus the constant rush of adrenaline that is Evil Dead. Some people like to feel like Michael Myers stalking through the halls of Midwich. There are appeals to both, which is unlike VHS. As Pixelbush roughly puts it, VHS is trying to be a better Dead by Daylight, while Evil Dead pushes the genre forward. Evil Dead attempts to be everything Dead by Daylight isn't, making it feel extremely fresh and something we haven't seen before. As far as I'm aware, it is the only asymmetrical horror game that doesn't have a huge focus on looping. I am really sick of running in circles in these games. 
It feels so good to have everyone clash together in battle in ways that aren't just spinning. Friday the 13th had combat as well, but a large majority of its gameplay also resolves around going from cabin to cabin with your swings here and there. I personally enjoyed its gameplay loop more than Dead by Daylight, and it did offer solutions to issues people have with Dead by Daylight. Like Evil Dead, there are multiple objectives. You are constantly searching for items, meaning it's more than just standing around a generator like a glorified campfire. Where Evil Dead takes this Friday the 13th formula up a notch is making the survivors feel like Jason. <laughs> That's not to say that Evil Dead is a clone of Friday the 13th. Far from it. It plays out very differently. Evil Dead the game encourages you to confront the enemy eventually, while on Friday the 13th, you mostly don't want Jason to be catching up to you, since it almost certainly means death. Looting is also a much quicker gameplay element in Evil Dead. You aren't opening drawers, everything is scattered about, and with some items you auto-pick them up. It's a very quick process. You'll search an entire building in usually just under a minute in Evil Dead, if even that. And then you are off to the next objective, which like we mentioned earlier is another decision that seems to be against Dead by Daylight. Lots of people wishing there was more than just generators. I've heard people say healing or searching chests are additional objectives. In my opinion, this is reaching. An objective is something you have to do to reach the end goal. You don't have to heal or search chests to get out. All that needs to be done is finishing gens. You can even leave your teammates to die on hook and just push through the gens. Everything other than generators is optional and dead by daylight. In Evil Dead, you have to collect all the pieces of the map. You have to gather the Kandarian dagger and lost page. You have to fight the dark ones. All of these things are necessary, and for me gives the matches different feels throughout the entirety of them. Collecting the pages is almost the warm-up phase for both sides to get to know each other, and then use that knowledge when moving on to the horde phases with the dagger and page. Then to finish it off, you have the epic final boss. While not difficult, feels really awesome and climactic. Evil Dead is the first horror asymmetrical game to not want to be dead by daylight to some degree. It wants to be Evil Dead, and it succeeds in groovy amounts of glory. Thank you all very much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I have tons of these discussion type videos on my channel. I'll have a playlist of all of them linked in the description. Do subscribe to not miss future videos like this, and if you enjoyed, leave a like. Do let me know what style of horror asymmetrical game you prefer. Do you prefer the slow pace of Dead by Daylight, or the constant rush of adrenaline that Evil Dead provides? Thank you all very much for watching, I hope to see you in the next one.